Chef Khalid is used to interviewing people and not being interviewed himself as the presenter on a popular food show that airs in the Middle East. It sees him travelling around the world including Singapore and he is back again for the Global Chef Exchange and we get his impressions about the programme. And thanks for joining me, Chef Khalid. It's a pleasure. Nice thanks to so meet much. you. Pleasure is mine. Okay, so I see you got a little uh, accident there. Yeah, what what uh, actually happened? It's uh, the wound uh, of, of, of battle, as they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it was just because it's very uh, busy, the kitchen. A lot of chefs and uh, a lot of them speaking different languages. So things happen and it's all packed and we had a time limit. So we, got, we had three chefs that got injured, actually. I had to go to the clinic, got it wrapped up, came back and uh, was good to go. Okay, but isn't that normal in the kitchen, right? Because even back home in, in your kitchen, yeah, I'm sure yeah, it's yeah, really... Of course, injuries always happen. Yeah. You always have a first aid kit in kitchen. You have to be ready, but... No problems. How do you keep the stress level down in a kitchen where everyone's shouting, and everyone's in a, it's, it's hot in there? Yeah, it's leadership. You have to have uh, leadership in a kitchen. Uh, everyone listens to that. You know, yes, chef, uh, the voice of reason. And uh, that's how you control a kitchen. But always a kitchen is going to stay chaotic. There's always shouting. There's always screaming. And there's always telling off. But that's normal. Okay. So you had your own group here uh, yeah. as a... Three chefs, I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, we, we did like a Middle Eastern uh, theme because we're all from the Middle East. Some of the chefs from, two of them actually was from, were from Dubai. And we wanted to go with a Middle Eastern uh, theme. So we did two dishes. One is like Middle Eastern inspired, eats, uh, East meets uh, West kind of thing, or eat, East meets Middle East. <laughs> so we used, uh, one of the chefs actually brought some, uh, some dates with him from back home, some Arabic spice, some dried lemon. That's very common uh, foods that we use. So uh, we did a chicken dish stuffed with some uh, carrots and, uh, and turnips roasted in the oven. And we did a, a curry inspired also sauce, uh, chili, of course. You have to have the chili here. People love chili. And we infused the, uh, the dates and the dried, uh, the dried lemon and some Arabic spices that we used. And we just did the, mix the two sauces together. It's like sweet, spicy, and like earthy kind of sauce with the dates. But that was uh, one of the dishes. The other dish, we, we wanted to do uh, like, um, you know, everyone loves vine leaves when they go to Arabic restaurants. They order vine leaves. So we wanted to stuff them with uh, nasi goreng instead of uh, like the regular stuffing. But vine leaves take a long time to cook, and we have like a time limit. So we chose to use Chinese cabbage. And we stuffed it with it. We did some sea bass seared, very simple, with a coconut curry sauce. And that was our other dish. What's, what's the probability of you using these dishes in uh, your restaurants back yeah, home? Yeah, very high. Maybe we'll, we'll change a little few things. What, what would change? I'm not sure. I mean, with the experimenting in the kitchen, we'll see maybe a few other spices from... from uh, I, I'm sure they're going to use it from, in their kitchens, the, uh, my teammates. But I'm not sure everyone will maybe incorporate it in their own way and change it up, you know. Food always evolves, dishes evolve, you know. Okay, so your time in Singapore, first time here? No, second time. Right, okay, so you have some experience tasting the food here. What, oh, do, you, yeah, what do you think? I love the food here. Love it, love it, love it. Your favorite dishes? A laksa. A laksa, I, I can't get enough of laksa. I like roti a lot. I like the chili crab last night I had was unbelievable. It's just, everything is so tasty. It's, it's, it's amazing how all over the world, or most of the world, when you think about fast food or a food court, you think of generic food, you know, processed food, fast food that's not healthy for you. But here is a completely different story. You go to a food court and everything's done fresh. Everything's made fresh. So it's in a sense, it's kind of like revolutionized uh, food courts. Food, food courts and fast food is, is completely different meaning here. And uh, you also you have your own TV show back there, right? Yes, yes, yes. We have a t TV show that runs uh, through the whole Middle East. We, uh, I go to different countries and like explore the best dishes that they have and teach the viewers a little bit about the country. And so pretty much talking to a celebrity, right? Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you get recognized here and there. It's fun, you know. <laughs> but uh, got to stay humble. But it was, it's been great, really. It's really been a really good experience. You talk to most of the chefs. And what I, we loved about this program is that it brought all these chefs together. And it's always great to bounce ideas, talk about his restaurant, his recipes, what do you do, what do I do. And it's wonderful. And there's really, really good chefs that uh, came on this trip. It was very impressive. Thank you so much for your time, Chef no Khalid. It's a pleasure. Take care. All right.